right, you guys, this was requested by a lot of people. So this is how to get and use iRec recording software for iOS 7. So you're going to want to go to this website up here, emu for iosnet This is the site where you download their app store. This is not a jailbreak. This is completely unjailbroken. So you go ahead and click install, and it's going to install that app on your device. Now, just a word of warning, it's still in beta, so it's not going to work properly for everyone. You see it right at the top there. They also have a couple other things, but mainly I just use their iRec. If it's having bugs, I can only tell you for certain that it works on iPhone 5S. I also have their GBA for iOS product right there. So you can see you go in right there. So let's go ahead and go, and this is where you find the actual settings for the app. You do not find them in the app itself. So, you go into iRec. You're going to want to have it at an FPS of 30. You can do 60, but if you're going to upload them, the uploads are sent back down to 30. 6,000 bit rate, that's your sound from your mic. And you can turn on and off record audio right there. So your settings are in your general settings for your phone. So... Now, as you can see, it's recording right there. And all you have to do is put in a name and hit start recording to start a recording. To get your recordings to work for games like Clash of Clans, you're going to have to go ahead and go into general. And you're going to have to scroll down uh, and you have to find accessibility. Right there, accessibility. Scroll down. Just scroll down a little bit and you're going to look for assistive touch. Now, you have to have assistive touch open before recording for it to work on the game. You can see right there, you can turn it on right there, but an easier way to do it is a accessibility shortcut. That means if you double, t or, sorry, triple tap your home button, it will turn on assistive touch. So, let's skip ahead. Now you can see I have assistive touch on, assistive touch off, and go right in here. You can stop the recording. Now, if you want to close it, force quit, you can do that. Or if you are on a different device, some of them have a little bottom bar that comes up. And you can hold, double tap your home button to get to the, either of those screens. And either swipe up on the iPhone 5 or hold down and then press the red button for the other ones. You're going to have to do that before you turn on assistive touch. As you can see, assistive touch is now on. I've got my recording going, and Clash of Clans now shows. If you do not have assistive touch on before you open up iRec, it will not show this. If you open it after you open iRec, it will not work. So you have to do that force quit method before you start each recording. Force quit, turn on assistive touch, reopen, start recording. So let's go ahead and see if we have any recording to show you. I think I'm going to just play Gilberto's two-star attack right there just to give you an idea how it will show up. As you can see, assistive touch is right there up in the top left. That is the most out-of-the-way place for me to put it. You can choose wherever you want. Again, I cannot stress enough that you have to use the force quit method, double tap home, and just get rid of IREC in whatever little menu or bar comes up for you before you triple tap your home button to turn on assistive touch. Then open iRec, put in a name, start recording. Then it will work. So now, as you can see, he's doing balloon minions. He's going to get the two-star because you can obviously see that in clan chat. And see, the recording's very smooth. You can almost not even tell that there's that little button in the top left. I've got no lag. The color's great. I'm very happy with this product. Again, there's a lot of bugs, and it doesn't work for a lot of people. I only know for sure that it works on iPhone 5S. It will eventually work for all devices running on iOS 7. If you do not have iOS 7, you have iOS 6, you can still use the app Record My Screen, which is an old app. So now we're just going to go back here, and see? Everything works fine. No lag. No hands. And let's go ahead and drop some trophies because that defense put me up above 200. I don't want to be up above 200 when I'm logged in. 
I'm going for 5,000 defensive wins right now. I recently passed 1,000, so I got a ways to go. But I'm just going to be dropping, you know, five trophies right there. Just drop myself back below 200 and come back to base and get back to the guide. See, works great. And you just don't want to tap that. If you do tap it, it will get dark for just a second, but then it will go translucent again and be completely out of your way. So now you can go right back here. Let's flip that right back up. You can hit stop recording. And if you hit stop recording, it will stop recording. It will usually quit out of IREC and you'll have to reopen it, but then it will be under your recordings tab down at the bottom right there. And if you go ahead and click on the recordings tab in just, in just a second, oh, there's the info. And there's the recordings. That's what I meant to click. As you can see, pull down to refresh. You can slide over to delete. You can press the I and you can save it to your camera roll. And then from your camera roll, just plug it into your computer and rip those videos right out of your camera roll. So that's it for this guide. I hope it was helpful. If you have any more questions about IREC, they have a Twitter and you can also ask questions in the comments below. If it's not working for your device, go ahead and check their Twitter for updates. And thanks for watching.